Pretty Little Liars got a little weird in the latest episode, and we totally love it. The quote of the evening comes to us from mother-daughter pair Ashley and Hannah when Hannah says, I wanted him gone, I'll probably go to hell for saying that. And her mom then replies with, I hope not, then you'll have to see him again. Har har, right? I mean, Hannah's going to hell like Wilden, uh huh. The episode is titled, Turn of the Shoe, because we hear that the police have labeled the lake where Wilden's body turned up as a crime scene, and they know that someone in high heels was present. And it's pretty clear that it was Hannah's mom who was there since she got some seriously muddy shoes that she's ready to discard. Props to PLL Production for totally ruining those Manolos for the sake of the show. A standout new storyline has to do with the introduction of Tippy the Bird. It's Allie's old roomie who creepily talks in Allison's voice and repeats clues into what Allison was up to back in the day. In fact, the PLLers are trying to get more answers after realizing Tippy is singing a phone number. Leave it to our gloved mystery person at the end of every episode to, in this episode, steal away Tippy from the girls and feed the bird another bird. Cannibalism was forced upon poor Tipster. The girls still don't know who was that lady in black at Wilden's funeral, and Hannah actually accuses Shauna of having something to do with the whole situation, and Shauna kind of steps up to Emily before the big swim meet, giving her some major competition, revealing that she too wants to take that empty spot on the Stanford swim team. Oh man, I forgot to mention that Spencer got denied from Penn as the first person in her family to not attend the university. She's really depressed, but we actually feel the worst for Emily during this episode because her shoulder is severely injured while she's trying to protect Aria and Mona from getting run over by a car that A is in, and then she's on so many painkillers during her swim meet that she winds up smacking her head on the edge of the pool. She is so out of it, and it looks like her plans with Paige to attend Stanford together as roomies and as lovers might be just a dream at this point. So when that injury went down, it kind of re-solidified the PLLers' relationship with Mona because they started to question if she was on their side, but when they witnessed Mona getting choked by A just minutes after they realized Mona's lair, aka her trailer, was stolen, they kind of feel like Mona is back on their side. Toby later opens up to Spencer that he is the one who stole the RV in order to play along with A's game. And in return, he received transcripts from Radley about his mom. He believes that the facility is covering up something with her suicide, and he is determined to figure it all out. There was this really awkward moment when Aria goes in for a kiss with her new martial arts instructor, she runs out of the building and is totally freaking out in her car. It's pretty hilarious, actually. Shout out to Ryan Guzman for grabbing the role as Hottie Jake. We kind of have a feeling that we'll be seeing more of him around Rosewood. Oh, and we also learned that Allie used to do this strange thing where she'd hold her breath until she faints. just in order to get what she wants from her mom. And apparently there are more mysteries from that one summer back in the day. Just like last week's episode, Hannah is rocking another cool belt at one point. And that was it for this latest PLL episode. What discoveries do you think were unveiled this week? And what do you think we'll learn from Tippy's phone number song? Post your thoughts and theories below and subscribe right now to Clever TV for more PLL recaps, news, and interviews. I'm Dana Ward. Thanks for tuning in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Allison. <laughs>